All right, this is third grade, module five, lesson 19. Now, this happens to be an optional lesson. Now, teachers, the reason this is an optional lesson, I believe, is because we are using number lines to compare fractions. Okay, now, that's, those are definitely parts of the standards for third grade Common Core. But what makes this lesson optional is that some of these fractions have different denominators from each other. Uh, for example, students are being asked to compare like five-thirds and uh, six-fourths, let's say. And that makes it optional right here, that our denominators are, are different. But I like this lesson anyway because it really uh, is still developing that number sense for our students where they are using the number line to compare fractions. They're not using some algorithm mindlessly without really understanding why it works. Instead, they're using the number line to understand how to compare fractions. All right, so let's uh, get going on this. So the first step, uh, the directions say divide each number line into the given fractional units and then place the fractions on the number line. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that with all three of these number lines and then down here, we're going to answer some comparison questions using these number lines up here. All right, so uh, let's get started. So the first one right here is thirds. So they tell us to first divide everything into thirds. So we're going to kind of divide everything into thirds. And then we're going to locate where six thirds is. Well, six divided by three right here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that means we know 6 thirds is right here. And so 5 thirds is right here. Oops, I don't want to box that. And then 5 thirds, and let's see if I can do this. Okay, 5 thirds, good. All right, 5 thirds goes right here. And then 8 thirds. So if this is 6 thirds, so 7 thirds, 8 thirds. So there's 8 thirds. 8 thirds. And then it says, the directions say, write each whole as a fraction. So if this is 6 thirds, so 7 thirds, 8 thirds, 9 thirds, so that means this is 9 thirds, and we can go backwards if this is 6 thirds, 5 thirds, 4 thirds, 3 thirds. So that right here, and I'm going to do it a little bit fatter here, is 3 thirds. So we got 3 thirds, 6 thirds, and we've got nine thirds, all right? And then um, we can see where everything is. So I'm going to use a, a dot to show that that's five thirds, there's six thirds, and there's eight thirds. All right, well, now let's do the sixths. So first, let's identify the holes. I think that might make life a little bit easy. So first, we're going to cut everything into sixths. And the way I'm doing that, teachers, is I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut each half into three pieces because two times three is six. So there and there. So I cut each half into three pieces. So now I have sixths. And we know that one whole is six sixths. So let's write that in, six sixths. And that means two holes is 12 sixths. And that means three holes is 18 sixths. Because 18 divided by 6 is 3. Or another way to think of it, 3 times 6 is 18. All right, so now that automatically makes it really easy for us to locate. So 10 sixths would go right here. 10 sixths would go right there. 18 sixths we already have, it's way over here. And then 15 sixths. Well, if this is 12 sixths, 13 sixths, 14, 15 sixths right there. So 15 sixths is right there. All right. And then down here, we're going to cut these into fifths because it says so. Fifths are kind of hard. One, two, three, four, five. There's no real good, awesome trick for cutting a line into fifths. You just kind of have to guess and check until your students figure it out. 
Um, and that's okay. Just give them the opportunity, and they'll, they'll, they'll work it out. So first, let's identify the holes. Well, we know one hole is 5 fifths. That means two holes is 10 fifths, and three holes is 15 fifths. So that means 14 fifths is going to be right next door to 15 fifths. And 7 fifths is going to be right here. Because if this is 5 fifths, then this is 6 fifths, 7 fifths. 7 fifths. And I'm kind of getting a little messy here. And 11 fifths. Well, if this is 10 fifths, then 11 fifths is right next door. So 11 fifths. All right, now what you can see is you, we've got these dots, but these dots are in a variety of different places along the number line. And so we know that a number, a dot that is further to the right than a number on the left is bigger. So when you get further to the right, the numbers get bigger than the numbers on the left. And so that automatically means things like 8 thirds is bigger than 10 sixths because 8 thirds is further to the right than 10 sixths. Similarly, um, 11 fifths is bigger than 5 thirds because 11 fifths is further to the right than 5 thirds. Okay, so once we see that, um, we can now start comparing. So five, uh, 4 thirds and 8 sixths. Well, let's see, where's 4 thirds? Well, 4 thirds is right, and let's do this in green. All right, so 4 thirds is right here, and 8 sixths, where is 8 sixths? Well, here's 8 sixths. If this is 6 sixths, so 7, 8. So there's 8 sixths, and look at that. They are identical. They are exactly on top of each other, so they are equal. All right. Let's do uh, it in red now. Uh, let's see. The next one. 13 sixths and 8 thirds. Well, 13 sixths. 13 sixths is going to be right here. 13 sixths and 8 thirds is right here. So we can see that 13 sixths versus 8 thirds, we can see that 8 thirds is bigger than 13 sixths. And then the last one, in this case, 11 sixths compared to 5 thirds. Well, let's do this in blue. Here's 11 sixths right here. 11 sixths. And there's 5 thirds right there. So we can see that 11 sixths is just a little bit bigger than 5 thirds right here. 11 sixths is just a little bit bigger than 5 thirds, so that's our comparison symbol right there. And that wraps up our lesson, which, which was, let's see, Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 19, Comparing Fractions on a Number Line.